Daniela Santiago of Veneno Ana de Armas makes Time's Top 100 and NASA's Diana Trujillo on the Mars rover. These are the women making history today in this update. My name's AK and you best get ready because we are celebrating Women's History Month all month long by highlighting Las Mujeres that have shaped history, AKA Historia by Her. Even though we get a month to recognize us, just know we are doing dope stuff all the time too, okay? Not just in March. HBO Max's hit show Veneno follows the life of Cristina Ortiz Rodriguez, a trans actress who worked her way onto television and became a staple of Spain's pop culture. Better known as La Veneno, she is played by actress Daniela Santiago, who sat down with LATV's The Q Agenda for its season five premiere. Santiago talked about the public support for the show, lessons she learned from filming, and how she was casted to play the titular role. Take a look. También me apetece interpretar personajes sí, pues porque como bien dije en una entrevista, quiero verme interpretar a una madre que lucha por su familia y que no tiene que ser una persona trans, ¿no? O sea, que vean a la actriz interpretando el personaje sin poner la etiqueta de nada. Now, get this. Most of you have likely seen Ana de Armas in some of Hollywood's biggest films of the past few years. So, it is no surprise that this Cuban actress was featured in Times Magazine's top 100 next list for 2021, which features 100 emerging leaders shaping the future of their respective fields. Talk about holding it down. With a testament from co-star Jamie Lee Curtis, Adamas was noted for her grace and vulnerability that grounded blockbuster films such as Knives Out. Other Latinos featured on Time's list include actors Anya Taylor-Joy and Anthony Dramos, a migrant healthcare worker, Dr. Dario Elizondo Rojas, president of Chiles Colegio, Dr. Isca Siches, Judge Lina Hidalgo of Houston, Texas, and civil rights activist Monica Ramirez. Talk about squad goals, so just know that y'all were invited to the Carnazada, but BYOB. We are at the next step in space exploration as NASA successfully landed its rover named Perseverance on Mars. The team behind the rover had many Latinos engineering the mission's success, including East LA native and Garfield High School graduate Sergio Valdez at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Another team member also familiar with JPL is engineer Diana Trujillo. Born in Colombia, she pursued aerospace engineering while studying in Florida and eventually became the first Hispanic immigrant woman admitted to NASA's Academy. Having previously worked on the Curiosity rover, Trujillo is the lead team figure for the robotic arm on Perseverance. She also hosted NASA's first Spanish language planetary landing show and continues to seek out opportunities for women in space exploration as an executive member of the Brooke Owens Fellowship. For more on these stories and Women's History Month content, head over to LATV.com, which is looking as fresh as ever, baby. There we have more stories and episodes featuring the Latin A voices who are redefining culture. My name's AK, and keep holding it down, porque aquí somos mujeres y con mucha honra.